one of a kind. They don't see it, I pull out their eyes. I'm on a ride. Battle Pass Vehicles, Sholef V.1. Today we are showing the main tank reward for the new Battle Pass season, which is the Israeli Sholef featuring a 155mm gun mounted on a Merkava MBT chassis. Sholef, a premium tank destroyer for Israel at rank 4. Features. Shells with a radio fuse. Autoloader. Large in size. Vehicle history. In 1980, a group of Israeli defense companies began developing a promising 155mm self-propelled gun on the chassis of the Merkava Mk.1 tank. As a result of this work, two vehicles were presented for testing, the Sholef 1 in 1982 with a 39 caliber gun, and Sholef 2 in 1987 with a long-barreled 52 caliber howitzer. Both prototypes were successfully tested and were even used for combat duty on the border with Lebanon, but the choice of a new, self-propelled type of vehicle for the Israel Defense Forces was made in favor of the American M109, causing the Sholef project to close in 1993. The first prototype of the Sholef V.1 is on display at the Beit Hatathin Artillery Museum, its 39 caliber gun was replaced in the museum by a later 52 caliber one. Meet the Sholef V.1. This is the Sholef V.1, an Israeli tank featuring a self-propelled gun that is set to be the main ground reward for the new and upcoming battle pass season. The gun is a high explosive slinger with different types of E shells, the chassis is well protected and mobile, and there's the added premium status on top which makes this vehicle an excellent choice to start researching the Israeli ground forces tree. Let's take a closer look. The Shoal FV.1 is going to be an alternative to one of the first vehicles in the Israeli ground forces tree, the American M109 Howitzer. The Shoal FV.1S gun is a 39 caliber long 155mm howitzer, which is housed in a turret with hydraulic guidance drives. This gun can fire three types of his shells, the M107 from the M109, and two M401 shells with a contact and radio fuse. If you're accurate enough, you'll be able to hit helicopters or even aircraft with these shells. Interesting, the 155mm Sholef Howitzer is widely known outside Israel as the Slammer. The shells stored inside the Sholef are housed in two massive mechanized drum-style ammunition racks, which will be modeled as an autoloader in the game, meaning the rate of fire of the 155mm gun does not depend on the skill of the crew and is 5 rounds per minute. The chassis of the Sholef V.1 is from a modified Merkava Mk.1 tank. In terms of maneuverability and speed, the Sholef is somewhat inferior to the M109, but is significantly superior to it in terms of protection. The hull of this tank can easily withstand auto cannon fire and bomb explosions, and can survive hits from tank guns. However, the turret of the Sholef V.1 is very vulnerable due to its compact layout, so make sure to stay away from the front lines if possible. Unless you're feeling brave, you can get the Sholef V.1 for completing challenges in the new and upcoming Battle Pass season, starting July 24, just by playing the game. We'll be publishing the main Battle Pass news article soon, so be sure to follow the news on our website. Until then, see you around. Please note that this vehicle's characteristics may be changed before it is added to the game.